Hi, Taylor Mitchum here from Janeiro, and in this video, we're going to talk about the two best drones for starting an inspection business. When I'm thinking about the best drone for an inspection business, I want a drone that I can use for multiple applications within the industrial world. For thermal inspections, for visual inspections, I want to have zoom, and I want to do all of that. And the most cost-effective drone that's not going to completely bankrupt you is the Inspire One. So the Inspire One drone is my number one pick for the best drone for industrial inspections. And I'm going to tell you why. Number one is that it natively supports the Zenmuse XT thermal camera from Fleur. And it is the only drone, not the only drone, but it is the only drone under $5,000 that natively supports it. So the Matrice 100, I believe, supports it. Uh, the Matrice 210, as you may know, supports it as well, but those drones are very expensive. Uh, and especially the 210, I believe the M210 starts at 10 grand. So this drone, this Inspire one right here starts at about two grand. So that is much, much better. Um, the other reason why the Inspire One is a great starter drone for inspections and not even a starter drone, a continuing drone is because of this camera right here. This is the Zenmuse X5, but what's really neat about it, other than that it has manual aperture settings and you have more control and autofocus and all of that, is that this lens actually comes off and so you can buy officially unsupported DJI says that they're unsupported, but officially unsupported lenses. And one of those lenses is a 14 to, I believe, 50 millimeter Olympus lens. And that lens allows you to zoom. So the only problem with that, though, with that lens in particular, is that you have to counterbalance this camera. So I don't know if you can see on the side, this camera has been balanced a little bit. You can see the weight right there to help it balance a little more with the, that lens on this body. And since that lens wasn't made for this body, this body wasn't really made for that lens, sometimes there's problems with balancing and with the drone staying stable while you're doing an inspection. And if you're using autonomous flight modes, that can be an issue. Or if you're looking for a super smooth cinematic shot or video, that can be an issue as well. So another great camera that works with the Inspire One is called the Z3. And I don't have one, but it looks similar to this. This is actually the X3, but the Z3 is a zoom camera that natively zooms on the DJI app. And it's about, it's about the same size as the X3, which I have in my hand right here. And so with the Z3, you'll be able to zoom in really close. I know a lot of people are looking for things like serial numbers and things of that nature. So this drone, the Inspire one, does support a zoom camera. Um, so that is why I think the Inspire one is the best camera if you're gonna start a drone inspection business. But this drone is by no means perfect. The battery life isn't amazing. You probably get about 20 minutes from a TB48 battery. Um, much less if you're using this X5 camera, which is why I would go with the Z3 over this with the Olympus lens. But, um, and it also isn't the most stable. A lot of times this is affected a, a little more by wind than some of the other newer quadcopters out there. And this is also a little more expensive, especially if you're not planning on doing anything in thermal, um, zoom isn't critical to you. If you're going to be starting a drone inspection business, I would highly, highly, highly suggest that you look at the Phantom 4 Professional or Phantom 4 Advanced. I have seen people use the Phantom 4 Professional and the Phantom 4 Advanced to do cell tower inspections and roof inspections and things like that. And of course, for a roof inspection, you don't need an Inspire. You can do that with a Mavic almost. But for cell tower inspections and things like that, I've seen people use a Phantom for professional, and it is very, very, very stable. Now, the one thing with the Phantom for professional, though, is that it does not zoom. There's no zoom camera. You have to physically move the drone closer to the structure. So that can be a little nerve wracking if you're not used to flying very close up to structures. But 
It has amazing battery life, and again, it's very stable, especially in autonomous flight modes. And I've seen people use it successfully for different types of inspection applications. The other great thing about the P4P is that it has a 24 megapixel camera. So in post, you can also zoom in a little bit and see some more details within your pictures or your videos, depending on what video uh, software you're using to, to view the videos after. But again, I would highly recommend the Inspire One as the best all around drone for an inspection business that's not gonna completely break the bank. It supports thermal cameras. It has a regular um, X3 12 megapixel 4K camera. It also has a Z3 that's a zoom lens camera. And then you also have this camera that can support, this is the X5, and it can support aperture, different aperture settings, different lenses, things of that nature. Now the one drone I would not suggest getting if you're going to be doing majority inspection work or majority industrial work is the Inspire 2. And the reason I don't recommend the Inspire 2 is because DJI, the manufacturer of the Inspire 2 themselves, said that the Inspire 2 is strictly a cinematic drone. It is not made for industrial applications. And that has been true to this day. This camera right here, the XT, is not supported on the Inspire 2. So you're not gonna be able to use thermal on an Inspire 2 natively. Now you can jerry-rig something together, have somebody do third-party integrations, but the best, the best bang for your buck is really to get this XT and to get an Inspire 1 if you want to do thermal inspections. Um, the other thing about the Inspire 2, while it has great features like collision avoidance and things like that, is that it sucks up a lot of batteries because it's bigger and heavier and it has bigger cameras and things like that. So again, I would, I would completely recommend the Inspire 1 if you are starting a drone inspection business. I would recommend this as the absolute best drone for inspection work. Um, and then a close second would be a Phantom 4 Professional, especially if you're not gonna be doing things like power lines and you don't need to get really close to the zoom, uh, really close in and zoom in on things. And the other thing I'll say about this Inspire one is that it also supports the Z30 camera, but the Z30 camera is extremely expensive. So I suggest, would, I suggest that you start with the Z3 first and then see if you need to graduate to something like the Z30. I hope you found this video helpful. I have a free gift for you in the comments. If you click the first link in the description box, it's going to take you to my free profitable client course that will teach you how to get clients for your drone business in four days or less. If you enter in your email, I'll send you that course right away. And as always, click the like button if you like the video, subscribe so you don't miss what's coming out every single week, and leave a comment below letting me know what videos you want to see next. Fly safe. Bye.